Welcome back to the fifth season of the 2021 ITTF High Performance and Development Weekly Training Lesson, where we will continue to look at the titans of strokes performed by the greatest champions of table tennis. If there's one greatest titan of a stroke, then that stroke is the block. Once arsenal of technique and tactics can contain numerous twists on the block as an integral part. As usual, it can be played with dual scope, winning a point or preparing a counterattack. The block is essential in one's game, because the best players also have extraordinary blocking capabilities. Varying the block can represent a tangible way to control the opponent's attack. Let's have a look at some options. A side drop shot block. A combination with different blocks, active or passive, creating the right conditions to perform a counterattack with a power backhand. And mainly, it can allow you to have full control of the ball. Developing a good block means to know how and where to hit the ball, how and where to place the ball, and at last, how to catch your opponent off balance. We will focus on two different types of block. A spin block, a side backspin block. Here, Vladimir Samsonov showed one of his finest shots. A spin block against Dmitry Ovcharov. It was a classic third ball, but in this case, it was not an attack. It was a controlled action. Dima took the opportunity to open a half-long serve ball from Vladi, and the Belarusian star made a wonderful down-the-line spin block with his usual elegance. Let's go into details. The spin block variation needs to be performed, keeping in mind a few things. The position of the racket above the ball, the impact on the ball made on its top, balance, the follow-through motion, the placement of the ball. In this stroke, Vladi kept his racket above the ball, hitting it on its top, accompanying the ball forward with a follow-through motion. Vladi immediately read the intention of his opponent and prepared for that stroke. Dima was caught in counter tempo and could not reach the ball as the placement was extremely deep, almost hitting the end line. A perfect shot from Vladi. Let's watch it again. In the match for the semi-finals, Chang Yiching from Chinese Taipei faced Wang Man Yu from China. Chang performed an excellent slight side backspin block, confusing the Chinese who sent the ball on the net before going too long. Playing this kind of stroke requires great ability in managing the opponent's topspin as you must have the feeling to absorb speed and spin. Let's go into details. This is a situation where players perform a fourth ball defense, meaning the opponents took initiative after their serve. Here, Wang Man Yu played a very good serve wide on Chung's backhand, forcing her to push after she moved in anticipation too much on middle of the table, probably to open with a flick. Wang Man Yu then had a good chance to attack on middle, but she didn't know about the brilliant move from Chung, who intentionally reached the ball with a side movement by bringing the racket downward to create that specific stroke, the side slide backspin block. Let's watch it again. Let's move to our animated table. To improve the block variations, you must learn how and where to hit the ball while having a proper grip, not too loose and not too tight but definitely to hold the racket firmly. A crucial aspect is the position of the racket. Always above the ball, whatever the block you are about to perform. Minimal variations on where you hit the ball will produce a different outcome and you have to know what these will be. Let's try the spin block. Keep the racket above the ball. Be ready to hit on the upper side of the ball. Hit the ball gently and accompany it forward with follow-through action. Let's try the power block. Keep the racket above the ball. Gently approach the ball and be ready to accelerate. Hit the ball in the central area of the sphere. The movement of the racket and arm should be straight, parallel with the table. Let's try the drop shot block. Keep the racket above the ball. Hold the racket soft and ready to tighten it when you just hit the ball. 
hit the ball slightly on the upper area of the sphere by absorbing and stopping the ball. The movement of the racket should be energetic, but retracting. It seems a contradiction, but it is so. Our final advice. A shot is never an end in itself. It is always followed by another shot. We hope you like today's Titan and see you next week with a new episode of the ITTF High Performance and Development Weekly Training Lessons.